You hear people say, All right, it's bad out there. We are live. God bless everyone. My name is Apostle Travis Sell. And you know what? I was just on Taiyi's Live, Queen Taiyi's Live, our CEO. Welcome to TVSN. The name of my ministry, the name of this sec, the name of this segment is called the Workspace Virtual Church. And Workspace, as you can see, is W U R K, and it's an acronym for Wisdom, Understanding, Revelation. All right, I'm back, y'all. Had to get something straight. Hopefully, I didn't hear it. <laughs> Praise y'all. But amen. <clears throat> Since my big sister, Tai L, put me on the spot with the raps and everything like that, I actually didn't come here to do the rap, but I actually came here to just talk about the ministry, what we're offering, what our vision is. Um, please like and share. But yes, we will be, I will be doing anointing oil soon. I just got to, you know, get myself together, get myself in that space um, to get the essential oils, the bottles, and so forth. I could be transparent. It is what it is, right? My oils that I make, I do not recommend drinking them <clears throat> because they're mixed with essential oils. And some people, you know, it could get toxic for them, but it's mainly for external use. But I can assure you that it will be 100% all natural ingredients. No, you know, perfumes or nothing like that. Um, but for now, I just do prophetic coaching by phone. So you can call me on the phone and we talk, most definitely pray. And then you, I counsel you and then you receive the prophetic word of the Lord. All calls are recorded upon request. So it's up to you. So if you don't let me know. That you want this call recorded, the call won't be recorded. But if you want me to record the call, I can record the call and then email it to you after that where you can have a counseling session um, recorded. You can record the prophetic word, have the prophetic word recorded, and you don't you can be able to listen to it as much as you want. But um, yeah. So before I get into that, I'm gonna get some bars, some bars off, some wraps off. So just give me a second. Let me get some water because you know you gotta make sure the vocal cords is is moist. All right. Hopefully it's not too loud. Get some. I'll be back. Let me get some agua. Everyone, please share. Please like. Please like. Please like. Please like. Please like. Please like. All right. Let me put my PayPal in in the beginning and get it over with. Yeah. Start over. All right. Let's go. Okay. Praise Yah. Check it. This is the birth of an enterprise. Small businesses on the rise. When you rise up, open your eyes. And look at the present, cause it's a prize Everything I'm saying right now is not pre-written But it's pre-witnessed from heaven Completed like number seven. Oh, it feels so light, just like heaven Uh, I said seven Seven days of the week, you strong Not seven days for the week Seven days that you weep And you repented for your sins Now Christ is living within 
and now he's making amends. Now it's full of businessmen and business women in this kingdom. Couple days, Queen Taiyi addresses the queendom for the freedom. As far as what we know, all we know is G O D the flow. He's like the river, he could save the sinner, he could turn the losers into a winner. And if you're skinny, he could make you chubby. So bubbly, give you that joy, cause the joy of the Lord is your strength today. Hear the words that I say, every day I pray for my people to wake up, for the earthquake to shake us up. Trump over there, he not being a Trump, but he causing fear over here in America. I'm not really into politics, cause I understand this politics they Trick the people in the running election. They say they would do this, but it's just a little tender, a little slim selection. But to my recollection, every time they come in, they just do the same thing that the man before them did. They think we little kids think our understanding is too small to grasp it. Now nah, I really understand. I'm about to outlast it. I give praise for my family, for the TVS, and we go enough family. We all together. And we're not fair weather, we're clear weather. We're not here one day and then born the next. We got the Lord protecting our neck. Don't forget to bless. All right, that was a freestyle, nothing written. You hear me? That was a freestyle, nothing written. Straight from the dome, straight from the dome. Straight from the top of the head, straight from the top of the head. All right? Hopefully you're blessed by my raps. All right. Hopefully you're blessed by my raps that they speak to your soul that they, you know, encourage you. Uh, I got the word on safety, never on holster. You can see me on your street posters because I'm coming for you. I'm coming for the devil on every single level. I never settle. I'm too much of a rebel. See my hair. It's all over here, all over there. Because my thoughts are so expensive. I don't mean expensive, but I mean extensive. I think on good lines. Think on high vibrational beams, high vibrational frequencies. I'm so glad that I'm here. We gon' make the green because it's time for us to go up. God wants you to be blessed. He wants you to really blow up. He wants you to really glow up. He wants you really to know what all up and flipping your Noah. He want to show you visions of the spirit. Want to show you visions of the spirit. How to get it. How to live it. How you do it. How you say it. How you do it. How you pray it. How I spray it. When I play it. Nah, not like lottery numbers. This is no guessing. This is strict blessing. Strictly blessing. I don't need the Smith and Wesson. Because I got spiritual weapons for divine intervention. This is the biblical intervention. I got cool flows. Smooth like cool whip. See me in my cool whip, my blue whip, with my Bible on the right side, that's my pistol, I roll around with God's word, the Psalms and the pistols, I don't need the drink or the sexual lifestyle, cause my spiritual lifestyle makes me feel so wild, it makes it mean wild, makes it worth my wean wild, I know my hair looks kinda wild, sometimes my thoughts are kinda wild, but I bow down and say God so wild, you keep blowing my mind. You keep blowing my time, that's why I don't wear watches, cause I don't have time for the foolishness, you know what I'm saying? Alright, I'm gonna give y'all one more rap, <laughs> I'm gonna give y'all one more rap, and then we gonna tone it down, we gonna bring the vibration down, and then I'm gonna give y'all some word, I'm gonna give you some scripture today, I'm gonna give you some prayer today, you're gonna get a full package with this ministry. This is the Workspace Virtual Church. In-depth teaching, art, rap, multi-talented, multi-diverse. There's a lot of things we're going to be offered. Right now, I say this boldly, I'm a one-man army, and I hear the Spirit saying, I will not be stopped, I will not be dropped, I will not be stopped on the street like the black man and the cops. When you see me in the drop, I'm going to be coming through with the shiny rocks and shiny things because I represent the king. You hear what I'm saying? All right, I got one more, one more rap for y'all. One more rap for y'all, and then we gonna get to business. You feel me? Excuse me for this ad, y'all.
How's everyone doing? How's everyone's day going on? Please let me know. Please let me know. All right. Come on. Dance with me. Bounce with me. Bounce with me. Invite your friends to follow us. Don't be stingy. Share the blessing. If you with me, shake with me. Uh. Born and then why? No wool in my eyes. I thought I was a gangster. That was a lie. Why I cry? Who cares anyway? I never bowed a knee, so you know I didn't pray. But that's what I was like before I met Jesus. We got deep like a thesis. Put that on Christ. Who stopped you? Separate the wheat from the tears. I've been bearing a lot like playing truth to dead. I'd rather choose truth. There was no rival. He is my strong tower. No Eiffel. Thought I was moving up, but I was I do. Head shot from Christ with the sniper Bible. See, I gotta be graphic. This rapper's Photoshop. He knows my combination. Got me padlocked when I stand on the word. Even Shaq is shook. If it's hard to walk straight, make it hip to the book. Thank you, Holy Ghost. It's getting hot in here. You are so close. Thank you, Holy Ghost. When I read your word, the devil is French toast. The spirit is in me, so I'm so bold. I ain't scared to praise. I would never get old. The spirit, you would lose my youth so I could bring the truth. When I'm in the booth, not to mention my spiritual Smith the Wessons. If it's beef, I pull it out for biblical intervention. It got me young and rich like I'm living over pension. I'm never boxed in and I'm never fenced in. The spirit got me kicking like 12 Asians. Catch him like the train at the train station. He's official like a whistle. His word is like a pistol. And I don't carry guns because I pack his opinion. Come on, come on, come on. This the birth of a nation. This the birth of an enterprise. Open your eyes, see the present, cause it's a prize. Don't be surprised when you wake up when there's money in your bank. When you wake up, don't be acting out, don't be acting stank. Make sure you stay humble or your kingdom shall crumble. That's the prophetic word of the Lord. You hear me swinging a sword, you hear me swinging a sword and cutting discord a cord. When we ride through, we rolling with a cord like we riving in the Honda, Hollow Shonda. You don't want no problems with my Shondas, my gangsters are Shondas, we speak in tongues. You don't want no problems with God's sons and his daughters and the kings and the queens. Know what I mean? Looking so clean. Uh, I got the eyes like high beat because I be seeing in the spirit. And when the devils come through, I just kill it. I just cut them asunder. I just cut them in half. Why you trying to block up my path? Move about my way. Hear what I say. You don't want the man, you don't want the problems. You don't want no trouble with the man that prays. Because the man that prays is the man that slays. And the family that prays together, y'all know, stays together. The family that prays together, y'all know, stand together. From the top of the dome, from the supernatural, from the spiritual realm. This is not natural, this is supernatural. Beyond the natural, in the spiritual, metaphysical. Let me get at you, let me spit at you, let me look at you. Let me see who you really are, trying to come into my atmosphere. You don't want no problems this far. I know in the spirit, you're coming from really far. But me and my homies, me and my sisters, me and my brothers shine like stars. We from the galaxy, you see the white and black on my shirt, cause I represent the galaxy. I represent a family, and we about to get this bag, and we gonna be like the family. It ain't all about the Benjamins, it's all about him, the tribe of Judah. I'm a Jamaican, so they say I'm from the tribe of Benjamin. I got the music on lock. I hope you stand straight, cause I don't bend the men. But I bend the men. I take my foot and I break a men. And then I make amends with my friends and we can get the money. We can get the blessing. You can get the resting. I can show you how to come first and never second. You feel me? Let me come down about the clouds so I can preach. So I can teach, so I can reach, open the ears of the deaf, make a sound, so I can open the eyes of the blind. Like when you wake up in the morning and you open up the blinds, let the light come in into your mind. I got the mind of Christ. And I'm like in the afterlife because I have already died to myself. I ain't need to grab the knife. All I needed to do is grab the sword and he comes into me. Took my otherness, put them together like an accord. So you got to try to understand how we was caught up in the world. All these spiritual and energetic cords pulling us to the left, to the right. Some of us couldn't even sleep at night because some demons was on us. Sleep paralysis. 
Now we need a blood transfusion like dialysis. But it's all good. Some of us live in the suburbs, but most of us people on here grew up in the hood where we was under the spirit of oppression. But yet still we had to go to school, act like we like it and learn the white lessons. But 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 let me digress because I don't want to offend. I want my words to give the perfection, the perfection of your man, not the perfection of your sin. Because I know God's plan and I know his will for your life. The will for your life is so sharp that it want to cut like a knife. It wants to cut out all of the wickedness. It wants to cut out all of the negative self-talk that you do to yourself when you look into the mirror, acting like nobody knows what God knows and nobody knows where the nose goes when the doors close. Nobody really knows the goals that you go for. Nobody really knows that when you in the mirror, you grab the black foe foe, asking God to stop you as the click click. You want to blow, blow. But don't blow, blow, because God wants to make your sins as scarlet, like red, and turn them into white, like snow, snow. You, you, do you understand what the bro saying? You understand what the bro saying? This is different. I thought I would have finished rapping by now, but God is saying this. You ain't gonna stop rapping right now. You gonna keep flowing like this until the glory come down. It's actually getting hot in my room, like somebody turned the heat on. I had to stop the beat because nobody turned the beat on. I had to keep my shoes off my feet like no feet on. I want to feed you through this life. No parasite. I want to feed you through Christ. Therefore, have the mind of Christ, which was also in Christ Jesus. He could make you clean. He could connect you like a fetus. The umbilical cord. And I'm beginning to hear and feel the Lord that it's time to come down couple of levels don't worry about the spiritual and the physical devils but take my people through different levels because you are the voyager some know you as travis sale some know you as travis Wright. but after this month your spirit's about to take flight i'm prophesying now your business is about to take flight it's going to be all right don't be surprised when your loved ones change it right before your eyes they thought you stayed nobody but you glowed up in their eyes listen Family is who you call them to be. Watch this. They say blood is thicker than water. But check this. Blood is thicker than spirit is thicker than blood and water. Watch how they swim like sharks if you just bleed in the water. Don't be a fool. Stay cool. No sleep, no drool. Let me bring it down. Representing. 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 The birth of an enterprise. I know it's so wild. You looking with your eyes like, wow. I feel this passion coming through this young man. Hopefully, he can tell me about God's plan. Yeah, I can tell you about God's plan and God's man. Do you understand? Now, listen. Today's a beautiful day. Today's an awesome day. And the word of the Lord is... There's a restoration coming to you. There's a restoration that is coming. All of the things that you have maybe done in the past, maybe you were successful in a last venture. Restoration is knocking at your door. I want you to know this. Restoration is knocking at your door. Things are being restored and they're going to overflow. And I hate for it to sound like a cliche, and I'm not a um, prophet that is, is prophes always prophesies about, you know, money and blessing, even though that is a part of the prophetic. And even though that is a part of obedience, that you just get blessed when you're obedient. It's just it's that simple. But there is something that you really need to know that the blessing of the Lord is coming. Whether it is you are a part of this family, we would love you here. We would love you here. But I'm telling you, somebody said that truth, nobody owned, nobody had a patent on the truth. In other words, what he was saying was, you could be hearing something, you could be catching a vision from God. There is somebody at the end of the world with the same, almost verbatim, because truth will catch anybody. Now, this team right here. I feel prophetically that it's going places. I'm not just saying that because me and Queen Tai have a have a personal relationship. 
I know what I know. And I'm saying join the team. I'm saying why wait? Join the team. Extremely affordable. All you need, because you got it. All you need is a platform. And if the Lord hasn't given you your own platform as yet, because some people can just get a platform out the gate. I'm, I can't see everything. I don't know everything. I don't know why that will work. You know, you can go to school. I'm not against going to school. You can go to school, get the degree, and still not have God's favor, still not be successful in that arena. So um, there are just some things we just don't understand. But what I'm saying is if someone has a platform and you see the platform is integral, Listen, support that business. Get on the platform. You never know what God can do. You never know. Cast your bread upon the waters and you many days you'll find it still floating. You'll find your seed rising up to the top. And this is the season where things are birthing for you. All them old blessings that God has been told you about. Now is the time that the promise is coming through. It's coming through for you. I'm telling you. Some of you, you, you don't forgot. You don't forgot about the blessing. But God is having this mouthpiece to speak to you to let you know. So to be mindful Go borrow jars and vessels from everybody you can get. What is the allegorical meaning? Prepare your mind. This is a vessel right here. The mind, that thing between your two ears, it's a vessel. Clear it out. Clear it out. Get focused. Get silent. Get still and be in a posture like this to receive because it's going to be big. going to be more than enough. Even right now, I feel myself in the spirit holding um, a head wrap. I feel myself. I feel myself as Ruth in the Bible, holding the the um, her scarf out as Boaz begins to stack the sheaves, stack the the grain into her scarf at night. And I'm telling you, this is going to be a powerful season today. I really didn't intend to rap, but you know, this woman of God, this apostle right here. I mean, just having the ability to spread that fire like wildfire. She's a trailblazer indeed. And God is using her life to um, show me a lot of things about life. Show me a lot of things about my call as an apostle. I know that I am a born prophet, a seer to be specific. I know that for sure. And God used it as well to, to help birth that ministry because I had a problem with accepting it. Um, because of religious reasons and where I was at with my leaders at that time and what they had told me, they told me that they did not see the prophetic, but they saw, they, they said that they saw an evangelistic, um, that may have been true, but I felt in my spirit, even at that time that they were withholding information because I'm not a pastor. Let me just, I'm not no pastor, but what I think is that when a pastor is insecure, I'm going there today. When a pastor, this is the apostle and prophet coming out. When a pastor is insecure, certain things that they should have already revealed to you about your life purpose and call. This is why you're under their leadership because they have the oversight. This is why they are the overseer. So leaders do see and they do know, but there's certain things that they should have revealed to you. But because of insecurity, they're afraid that you're going to leave their church, take your gift elsewhere. They're withholding information, talking about some God ain't telling me to release that yet. Let me tell you something. Anytime somebody calls you and talking about some, oh, God showed me something about you, but you told me not to release it. That is out of order. That is wrong. And that is witchcraft and manipulation. Yeah, I said it. If God showed you something and he told you not to release it to me, why would you tell me? I'm trying to behave. Why would you tell me and then tell me that I'm not going to release that? What, what, what are you trying to do? Turn, become my, 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 my fortune teller? What you trying to do? You acting like a, a prostitute right now. That's what a prostitute does. They tempt. Oh, I got the good stuff, but. Well, the store ain't open right now, but I'm just letting you know the stuff is good. You better come get some. You better. I'm just saying, well, you might cannot get some. I'm just saying a lot of people, you know. She merchandises, he merchant, that spirit, male or female, merchandises. You see what I'm saying? So I had to exit out of that arena, exit out of that ministry. And to be honest, I thought I was going to hell because 
on a subconscious level. It wasn't something that was taught, but on a subconscious level, I'm telling on some devils today. On the subconscious level, we believe that our church was it. Can I say it like this? Our church was the ish. We believe that. We believe on a subconscious level that no other church had the truth as than truth as um like ours. And let me tell you folks, that is the telltale signs of a cult. Just let that sink in. That is a telltale signs of a cult. If you believe that you have exclusive knowledge that don't nobody else got and don't nobody else could get and you own the patent, that is telltale signs of a cult and a cult leader in the making. Even I have to be careful because I can be very I idealistic and rigid in my thinking. Even I got to go back to God and say, God, look, is there anything in me that's rigid that needs to be broken? Is there anything in me that needs to be removed? Is there anything in me that needs to be not thrown out, but adjusted? I don't want to end up a cult leader, y'all. You don't want to end up a cult leader. God's given each and, each and every one of us a revelation. The Workspace Virtual Church. Work the church. Let me tell you what work the, the, the work in the Workspace Virtual Church means. W, wisdom. Un, this is, it's w is wisdom. The U is understanding. The R is revelation. The K is knowledge. A couple years ago, God gave me that revelation. I thought it was just a mixtape. And I felt this thing, God saying, you need to start building the ministry. Oh, I have a physical location. God said, I ain't asked you about that. I asked you to build the ministry. I asked you, if you, I told you, if you build it, I'll fill it. I said, okay, I'm going with the different names. Some of y'all might know I had a Hebraic name and all that. Yahshua is the meme ministry and all that. Even though Yahshua's Nabib is not dead, but it's submitted under the Workspace Virtual Church. Yahshua's Nabib Ministry or Yahshua's Nabib Training Center is the um, branch for the School of the Prophets. So I said, okay, boom. And the guy said, what is it? You remember what I told you a couple years ago? I said, yeah, work. He said, all right. The work, I was like, I was. it was coming together like a puzzle piece. I knew I had to put the work in there. I was like, mm, uh, the workplace, the workspace. Church, and then it came together. God said, "No, not the workplace, the workspace." Cause see, a place is limited in its dimensions, but space is unlimited. The workspace virtual. Church. I said, "God, well, you know." Recently, I was like, "Okay, let me take off the the virtual part." God said, "No, even when this when this ministry goes into physical aspects, you will still be." The virtual workspace virtual, no, the workspace virtual church. So let me work the church. I'm called to reform. I don't hate the church. Don't get me wrong. But I am frustrated. I am disgusted. I am hurt. Because this is something that was on everything. And to hear the mess that is coming out week after week after week after week. This pass over here, Courtney. Um, homosexual activities. This pastor over here, he's sexing all the women and the men in the church. This woman over here, woman bishop over here, she's a lesbian. This person over here is going to jail for a child molestation and charges. What is wrong with y'all? Have you no fear of God? Do God got to come back in the church? Do Elohim, Yehovah Elohim got to come back in the church and start striking y'all dead in the church so the people could know, don't, don't test me? What? Do God got to send prophets like us who look crazy, come up in there, interrupt your churches and speaking the, um, the, the, the judgment of Yehovah on you? This is what we did, y'all. This is what we did in ancient Israel. Some of us, we lost our lives for this. So you talking about some, you want to be in ministry, you want to be a business owner. Do you understand the level of warfare? Do you understand the principalities you're going to go against? These little church demons and church beefs and stuff, wars, that ain't warfare. Wait till you get in business and you start dealing with principalities. I'm talking about, wait till you start dealing with the spirit of mammon. That's a spirit that is that 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 rules over money and finance. And some of us, by the way we um, get bent out of shape, because the finance shows that we are serving the spirit of mammon. What is money? Y'all think I'm playing. What is money? It's just a piece of paper. On a physical level. Money. It's a piece of paper. On a physical level. Money. is a piece of paper. This is, this is prop money, y'all. So don't come to my house trying to rob me. 
This is this is prop money, but I did it for a prophetic reason. On a physical level, this is just paper. You only believe that it has value because of a mass consciousness that says it means such and such and such. I'm telling you, if I be a prophet of God, I don't know if we're going to be alive when this happens, but there will come a day when this will be no good, no better, no different than sticks you use to light a fire to keep you warm. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm going to tell you that right now. So you need to get your financial house in order. What do I mean when I say get your financial house in order? I don't mean get the bag and get rich and blah, blah, blah. That's a part of it. That's a part of the journey. That's a byproduct. But when I say get your financial house in order, you need to look at money how in this proper context. This thing right here is connected to spirits. It's connected to a spirit. You will blow your mama head off of this. So you need to understand there is a now a spirit attached to money. But you as the kingdom citizen, as a representative in God's kingdom, you are supposed to master this. You're supposed to master this. Money makes a poor master. All right? This will control your mind. This will control your life. This will control your decisions. This will control your relationships. This right here is connected to a spiritual realm. You don't know nothing about. You worry about stuff that's going on in the church. It's sad. But right now, we're dealing with business. We're dealing with kingdom economics. No, 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 Ty, you can ask for the offering. I'm just trying to bring it in the proper context. Because when I bring it to the proper context, woman of God, the offering that they sow to you, the spirit on it will be proper. It will be in alignment. It won't suck your finances out. But when somebody's giving an offering and they don't want to give it, it's better than they keep it because it's as if that money is cursed. They don't want to give it. They're still holding on to it. So when it gets your bank account and they want to hold on to it, here come your money going with it too. Y'all better hear what prophet is teaching today. So get your financial house in order. Understand that this right here is merely a tool, a tool. Because that's what it is. It's a tool of trade. When I go to the store and I want to buy this bottle of water, I say, how much is for this water? He says a dollar. All right. He can't just give it to me like that. So I give him the $20 bill. What am I doing? I'm not really, I'm not actually paying for this. I'm trading one of the dollars out of this 20 for this water. I'm trading. So anytime you give money or you release your money, however you want to word it, I could be a stickler for words. Don't be mad at me. That's just how I am. I just see the prophetic symbolism and, and significance in words. Um, let's take the tithe, for example. Some of you don't believe in tithing. I'm not here to force it on you. And neither am I here to advocate that if you do not tithe, your finances is cursed. But I am here to advocate that if there's a way for you to be financially um, sta stable and blessed by God, even though you don't understand the mechanics of how it works, why wouldn't you? Right. So when you're when you are, as we say, paying tithe, first of all, that word got you in the wrong vibration, the wrong spirit. You're not paying your tithe to God. You're not even really, mm, you could say giving, but the word that has the, the most accurate significance is you are returning your tithe. Mm -hmm. Did you catch that? Your offering, you're not giving, nah, 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 you can say give to, but you are releasing a seed. You're releasing an offering. Because that the offering after you give your tithe, that's your return to God. That's the God saying, thank you for this increase. Bam, here you go. And that takes care of the priest. Who is the priest? The pastor? Um, that could be your personal prophet. That could be your mentor. Um, even outside of a church context, that could be your guru, your psychologist. Anytime you give into something, you get access of the anointing of the oil that is on that minister. You're just trading. That's all you're doing. So start to learn about, learn about the, the, the mystical side. I know some of y'all hate that word, but I'm going to say it anyway because I don't care. I paid for my time slot. Start to look at the mystical side of money, the metaphysical side of money. Because you see this right here? This that everybody's killing each other for? This is just on a physical level. 
This is the last level. The highest level of wealth is the level is the is the wealth of your thought, the wealth of your spirit, and the wealth of your soul. Why do you think Jesus said, um, you are definitely worth more than a sparrow? Because nothing can compare to the wealth of the being of a God, lowercase in the earth, created by the most high God. Do you know that you are the gods of the earth? And in light of that context, the way your life is right now, you're acting like a human. You're not acting like a son of God. You're not acting like a daughter of God. Get back in realignment. So when you start getting back in realignment, let me tell you, let me tell you how to get to your wealth. And it's going to be a process. But if you're working a nine to five, I'm sorry to say to you, I don't want you to think I'm disrespecting you. Um, that is not your calling. Even though your anointing is still in operation on your job, I don't want you to confuse the two. That is just a job. It is just a means to an end. But it's not your passion. Your passion is, and some of us don't even know what our passion is, and that's okay. I'm going to help you today. I'm being the doctor today, a spiritual doctor. Your passion is... Um, God bless everyone. Thank you so much for the comments. God, your passion is that thing you would do all day and all night and not even worry about getting paid for it because you love to do it that much. For some of you, that's cooking. For some of you, that is um, sewing and knitting. For people like me, that's ministering the word of God, rapping, singing, prophesying, you know? That is where your wealth is attached to, is your passion. Who wouldn't like to do something they love to do and be abundantly compensated by it? I don't know who in their right mind wouldn't like that. Now, let me address something. For some of us in the church, um, we feel as though a spiritual gift that God has given us it is a sin to be monetized. What am I talking about? I'm talking about uh, ministers who preach and receive money for preaching. I'm talking about prophets as such as myself in the marketplace who offer a service where you can speak to me. We can pray and I can prophesy and I ask you for a fee to even before the before it starts. You got you to pay the fee first to get access to my time and as a result of that, you get access to my gifting, which is the prof the prophet's office. Okay, I can I, y'all need to go back and watch my interview where I gave the scripture, wherein it was common practice that any, I mean, and even outside of you know um, Israel and everything, everybody knows universally. Anytime you go to the priest, the witch doctor, yeah, I said it, the herbalist, the psychic. The tarot card reader, the village seer, the, the the town prophet, everybody knows you do not come empty handed because it's a sign of respect. You are about to enter into a spiritual meeting, a spiritual appointment. You are calling upon this person who is specially gifted to enter into the realm of the spirits, right? Do you know the toll that it takes on our mind? Do you know the toll it takes on our body? Do you know how much virtue we lose just to enter in and go and get you the prophetic word of the Lord? Because God is what? High and lifted up. So we have to ascend high up to the spirit and hear what God is saying about you and come down and bring it back. And you think that it's okay to come day after day after day, keep asking for a prophetic word. And it's not like you're being obedient to any of them. I, I don't know why I just went there, but... It is not wrong to monetize your gift. It is not wrong to monetize your gift. We don't go into the bookstore and tell them they're out of order because they're selling Bibles. They're charging you because it costs them to print and edit the Bible. They ain't charging you for the word of God. You see, get your financial house in order. Change your perspective and how you see things. Um, the woman of God on here right now, Prophetess Misha. I hope I said your name correctly. She makes these, these beautiful... Um, goblets, and I'm going to order one. I'm going to order one. And I know she won't be offended, but she will be a fool 
to sit here and be making them glasses as long as it, as it takes. Custom made glasses for free. Unless God told her to do that. Did y'all hear me? Unless God told you to do that. So don't allow religious thinking to keep you poor. That's probably one of the reasons why you're still broke. Because you feel like, oh, if I monetize my gift, if I monetize my ministry, if I monetize my service, I, you know, God ain't pleased, freely give, freely given. Are you crazy? No. You're even better than the person who ain't, who's not anointed, who's not a Christian, because your stuff is anointed. Because these hands right here that you clap and raise and lay hands and put oil on them, put some oil on my hands right now. You know what I'm saying? They're anointed. So anything you make has the residue of that anointing. You understand? This is why I wear my stones and my crystals because they hold the charge. They hold the, they hold the energy. When you pray, they hold the energy and they don't release it. They hold it and they continually reverberate. Let me take you into the realm of science now. Don't get scared. Don't get scared. Stop allowing. We have to stop allowing our Christian upbringing to cripple um, our capacity for revelation and to learn. I don't see God and science as separate. I see them both validating each other. The issue with the church, y'all trying to take the science part out of it. The issue with the scientists, they trying to take the God part out of it. What do you think omnis omniscience mean? All science. Yeah. Let me show you something. <clears throat> you see this right here? This is quartz. I wish it would stop shining. That's probably all the energy that's in it. This is quartz, clear quartz. This come from the earth, y'all. So while you people sitting here accusing me of being a witch, do you not know that there is a piece of this in your phone and that helps your phone pick up a frequency and pick up the signal from the satellite that's out of space, your cell phone tower? Do you not know that your phone that you're watching me through right now, is oper it, it, the only way it can operate is through this crystal right here? A very fine piece of crystal. Do you not know that some of your radios have this? Anything that's technological has this. Why do you think they call it the LCD? Liquid crystal display. All right? So this crystal has the ability to... It's piezoelectric. That means that if you squeeze it, it will produce electricity. And this is why they have it in your phone, because it produces an, ele an electricity. Do you not know that the ruby stone, that little, you know, reddish pomegranate, you know, stone that is so expensive in the ring? Do you not know that they use ruby stones in lasers, red lasers? Right. I know you didn't know. So there is so much kingdom people that there is to learn. There is so much to learn about our planet. There is so much to learn about um, these different dimensions of existence that are superimposed. Because right now you're watching me and you're conscious. But simultaneously, there is another uh, depth of thought, a depth of awareness that you are in, right? Seated in heavenly places. So you you're here now in your physical body, but you're also in a beingness in another realm. That's why you can pick up things in the what? Spirit, right? <laughs> you are a spiritual being. You're amazing. You're, you're, you have multiple bodies, spiritual bodies. And those, those in the occult or those in the new age is in a sense much further than you spiritually, definitely much wiser than you. The master said, the children of darkness is wiser than the children of light. What do you think he was saying? What do you think he was saying? Right? So it's time for us to, as you say, take back what the devil stole and put it back in realignment in the purpose and will of God. I wear my stones because... There is a part of my soul that um, resonates with that particular type of look and that vibration. This is why one will lock their hair and one will keep it short. One will braid it. This is why one will not drink of the
the fruit of the vine. They won't drink any wine or alcohol because wine or alcohol puts you in a certain type of frequency. Their soul knows that it does not need that. Your soul knows what it needs for development. We always bash the soul as well. God, you got me. You, just, I want to shut my mouth. You, you, your soul has a blueprint in it. It knows what it wants and knows what it needs to do. Your soul is not the person looking back at you in the mirror. That's your physical body. But the soul is the, the real you, the essence of you. If your soul was to leave this flesh right here, immediately dead. And it starts to decompose. We're already decomposing. Um, so you need to get in tune with, you do need to get in tune with your will, your emotions and desires. Because that's the only way you're going to know who you are and what it is you like, what it is you don't like, what it is you'll put up with, what it is you will not put up with. If we get in contact with our soul through Christ, of course, and meditation and eating right and exercising, if we get in tune with ourselves, with our natural, do you not know that you have your natural vibration? There's some people you meet and you don't know them, but you just don't like them because there's something in their vibration you just don't agree with. There's some people in life, they don't even know you, but they don't even like you because your vibrations just clash. There's some people you meet, and as soon as you meet them, bow. It's like y'all just know y'all know each other for years, and y'all just met. All is vibration and frequency. So when you get in contact with your soul, some would say the higher self. You could say the mind of Christ. Honestly, it's all the same thing. They're just using different terms, terminologies. I want y'all to understand that. Um, that's why you need to know your word. Know your word and be open-minded. So some of us know our word, but we're closed minded, right? If it's not in the Bible, I'm not doing it. Stop brushing your teeth because that's not in the Bible, right? You understand? So yes, that was an extreme joke, but the way how we act is just as extreme. So when you hear something, you can be like, oh, that's in the Bible. Where? I'm going to show you right here. Yeah, it's abstract, but it's saying the same thing. It's abstract, but it's saying the same thing, right? So when you get in contact, there's certain things that, We'll, we'll, it'll take a while to stop, but you'll be way more conscious of it and say, dang, this particular type of person keeps showing up in my life. What kind of residue in my spirit? I'm not promoting reincarnation. Don't get me wrong. But what kind of residue that's still hankering around me? Because it could not be you. It could be someone way back that was just like you, right? You keep in contact. That, keep in mind that blood is still running in you. In your DNA, oh my God, God, you got me way out here today. In your DNA is all of the files, all of the knowledge, the wisdom, understanding, revelation, knowledge, all of the work is in running through your course of your veins. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Them, 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 especially prophets, you know, it runs in the family. A lot of times it comes from the mother's side. I don't know why. I guess because women are naturally intuitive. So it's in you. You have not tapped into your, 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 your ancestral blessing. Don't get nervous when I say ancestors either. You have not tapped into that part of yourself. And the only way you're going to do it is through Christ because he is the way, the truth, and the life. Because if he shows you the way, then you can say, that man is the truth. And when you live in the truth, you can only have life. But when you have no way, you won't get truth. You'll get deception. And if you continue to live your life in deception, you'll end up in death. Do you see both sides, the black and the white, the yin and the, the, yin and the yang? So today I'm asking you to choose the way, the truth, and the life. You are going to be so blessed financially, and ain't going to make no sense. Your spirit is going to be richer than the natural wealth that you have. Don't look at someone else's wealth and say, I wish I was rich like them. Because you don't know what demons they have to battle. Affirm to yourself, I am walking. Say with me, I am walking. In the perfect idea of wealth that God has assigned for me. I want you to understand what you just said. You just said, I am submitting to God's 
idea of wealth for me. What does that look like? One person over here, they don't need a car, just need an apartment and a decent job. Person B, they need a car and they need a two bedroom apartment. They need that for what God is doing in their life. Person C needs the mansion and they need the multiple vehicles. All right? That's what they need. So you don't have because you don't know what you need. Because if you know what you need and you can ask for it, you ever notice that there's certain prayers you pray and bam, it happens just like that because that is something you needed to pray for. Most of the time it's taking a long time because we don't need it. We want it. So this ministry will always promote um, dealing with the God within. Some may say mysticism, right? And I had to explain to someone the other day that um, mysticism has nothing to do with religion. This is why you will have, it's really just, mysticism is really just a way of thought or a way of life. Um, that's why you have Christian mystics. You have Jewish mystics. As a matter of fact, the Bible that we read was written by Jewish mystics, but we called them in the church prophets. A mystic is someone who lives life communing with the spirit of God within instead of outside. You know what I'm saying? So this is someone who is more so, I would, I'm not going to say focus on self. I'm not going to say that, but God is in each and every one of us. I know you agree with that, but they live that, that their, their lifestyle connecting with the end. So that's why they'll be very meditative, um, introspective, uh, great clarity of self, great, great clarity of mind. And this is why these people make the perfect teachers because they teach you the true um, goal of life, which is not just to get the bag. That helps you enjoy, but that the true purpose of life is to manifest. Say with me, I am, the reason why I'm saying I am because I am is God's name. And that's why I said you are God. You are a God. You ain't the most high, but you are a God. Because God's name is what? I am that I am. Short In short, I am. There is no other being on the face of this planet that can fix their mouth to say I am. My cat can't say it. Only thing he know how to say, he, he could say is meow and row and hello. When he's hungry, he'd be like, hello. Literally, I should record him. You are the only person who can say I am. Girl, what you doing? Well, I'm, we say I'm, but it's really I am. Girl, I'm over here in my accessory lady boutique. What you say? She just said, girl, God, or I acting as God is in my accessory lady boutique. We are all part and parcels of the big, I mean, unknowable, ununderstandable essence, power, source called God, called Yahweh. We are all pieces of him. We're all pieces of him and we're meant, we're, we're, we're ordained and consecrated to act as God in the earth. So if you're acting crazy, you're living in sin, you evil, you're not acting like God, you're acting like God's son, Lucifer. Okay, you know the angels are sons of God, right? You're acting like the devil. Extremely gifted. You could say Lucifer was a type of God because of the type of power that he had. That's why he's the what of this world? The God of this world. But he, he left the light. He left the humblest, the humility, because he was the highest archangel. All wisdom, all beauty. The man had stones built into his body, um, music built into his body. Every step he took, music oozed out of his being. The angels worshipped. But he allowed it to turn him upside down. And that's what you are when you're not operating in your God calling. Because if you ain't operating in God, you're operating in the devil. There's no in-between. Somebody type in the comment box. There's no in-between. There's no gray area. So as you submit to these processes that are taking place, because as I'm speaking, things are going to start manifesting in your life. Words ain't just coming out of my mouth for no reason. As I'm speaking, you're going to start walking into some things. You're going to start going through some serious Serious character development. Um, there's a lot about you that's going to change. 
a major transformation. Major transformation is going to change and start happening for your life. Um, and in terms of this channel and this business, if you're connected and you're watching this, I want you to know that this is a great feast. This is a great buffet. There are many flavors to partake of from TVSN. I pray that my flavor has not been too salty, um, too sweet. I pray that my flavor has not made you to gag or vomit, but I pray that my favor, my flavor... Yes, Lord, my favor and my flavor was tasty and that you'll come back for more because I love to cook and offer you, you know, what the father has given me to offer. And it's really good. It's really healthy. It's really beneficial. Yes, there's going to be some moments where it's going to be hard to digest. You might have to take it and chew it and listen to it over and over and over again. But I'm telling you, I promise you, if you stay connected to the workspace virtual church, you're going up. Now, if you want more in-depth teachings, you can find me on YouTube under the same name. Get ready to be challenged in your faith. The Workspace Virtual Church. You can find me on YouTube as the same name. So it's in the um, description of this live. You can find me there. Subscribe and hit that bell so that you can get more updates, notifications when I upload the video. If you are interested in Healing Crystals. I have a couple of sets on my Etsy shop. Um, just go on over to YouTube. I don't have the link right now at hand. Go on over to YouTube, any one of my videos, and look in the description box, my latest videos, and you will see my Etsy shop. I'm on Etsy as Voyager Gems. V-O-Y-A-G-E-R-G-E-M-S, one word. Voyager Gems. Get your crystal sets today. Um, and also... Make sure to book your sessions, your prophetic coaching sessions, all right? So call me or text me at 607-323-1288. Leave a detailed message, your name and your number, and let's get your session going. The charge for the session is $50 per 45 minutes. $50 per 45 minutes, and that's a whole bunch of talking time. It could be less. But I, I, sometimes people need to release and get some stuff out of their spirit. So it's $50 per 45 minutes. Calls can be recorded at your request. If you don't tell me to record the call, I won't record the call. But if you want the call recorded and emailed to you after, um, so you can listen to it over and over again, you have to let me know. To begin the, the, the um, session, you have to give the donation first, and then we schedule the time. Whenever I'm free and whenever you are free, and then we get your session popping. I'm gonna work. I'm gonna. I'm gonna start working on the anointing oils. Lord help me with that. I know, right, Taya? This was really good. I'm gonna go back and watch this myself because I don't even feel like myself right now. I'm in a whole new dimension, a whole new world, whole new level of the spirit. I don't even know who I am right now. Um, I'm gonna start working on the anointing oils. I might come out with one scent, and if it does good, I'll come out with another scent. Uh, and what else? Is there anything else, Lord, that I offer? That's about it. Um, I love to teach. I love to preach the word of the Lord. I'm deep, and I, I, I'm i not shame. I go deep because my spirit is deep. So I can only be deep because deep calleth unto deep. I love to pray. I'm a prayer warrior, intercessor. I love it. I love it. I love it. With that being said, if there's anybody that needs prayer, please type that in the comment box. I would like to pray for you live before I get off. So if you need prayer right now, please let me know in the comment box before I close this um, session. Oh, Lord. Let me get the pillow for my back. I want to be able to prop myself up. Anybody needs prayer, put the prayer in the comment box so I can pray for you live. I know they might be a little delay. I'll wait. All right. Anybody needs prayer? Let me know. Going once. Hallelujah. 
Psalm 23. Yehoah is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I, we, TVSN will dwell in the house of Yahuwah forever and ever. Amen. All right, Tael, I see you. I'm going to start to pray now. Hallelujah. And right away, I see a business meeting between you and this white man. In a suit. And um, y'all just having a meeting. You're discussing your business. You're discussing what you offer. I don't know who this person is. Whether he's the owner of a, of a, of a um, building. Or a owner of an office space. Or this is someone you will talk to. Um, prior to a business expo. But you will have a meeting with a Caucasian man. And you'll be talking business. And I did see you. Y'all shook hands. So obviously there is some form of agreement. But I pray y'all's blessings on that meeting. That it will go good, good, and good. That it will be great, great, and great. That it will go according to y'all's plan. It will prosper. And you'll get the exposure that your ministries need. You'll get the exposure that your ministries need need. You'll get the help. You'll get the wealth. You'll get the connections. You'll get the contacts and your business will be known in many states. I prophesy that you will become a household name. I prophesy that your journey and what you've been through will be inspiration to many men but especially women and that you would encourage them to rise up in their queendom. You would encourage them to be better wives, be better mothers. You will encourage and empower and shake the nations. The world has yet to hear your voice. And when it does, it's going to shake. It's going to shake and shake. And shake till it can't shake no more. Amen. All right, Helen Davis Jackson. All right, let me pray for you now. Father, thank you for Helen Davis. Helen Davis, I thank you for uh, all that is happening in her life. For it is really a symbol and signal to what is really popping off for her. She just don't know it. So, sister, the, the Lord is asking you to change your perspective on the hell that you've been going through because it's really heaven. But the enemy has you thinking it's a hell. There's a lot that's being shaken and shook up around you that is going to really shake out uh, the fleas, the lice, the bugs of your life. And after that happens, there's going to be cleanliness, orderliness. Uh, sanctification and things are going to start to brighten up and take on a whole new face and a whole new grace for a whole new space and you're walking into a new place you're walking into a new space and you're walking into a new office whatever that office is is being swept out and it's being renovated and it shall be furnished fully furnished for you so God says allow your perspective to be changed in this season Allow your perspective to be opened up and see the situation for what it really is. And that is a situation that will prosper you inevitably in the end, said the Lord. 
All right. Anybody else needs prayer? Release me. I think there's a little delay. Yes, ma'am. You got it. You got it. Apostle Ty. You got it. All right. I'm coming down. 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 All right, y'all. Um, If this whole live has been like tremendous to you it had blessed your socks off you learned a lot of stuff that you didn't learn 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 before you were challenged and you know you were you you were blessed by the music and you just want to be a blessing and you want to say thanks in in the form of your finance finances when you give someone finances to say thanks that is really big because finances to people are very important it's a very um, sensitive part of your life. So if that has been a blessing to you, um, I'm going to put the PayPal down on the bottom and you just listen to the Holy Ghost. You listen to the Holy Spirit and give the amount that he's telling you to give. And I, I know that this is good ground and I know that you're going to be tremendously blessed. All right, Misha Nichols, I see you. I know that you're going to be tremendously blessed after you sow that seed. You're blessed now, but you're going to be even more blessed after you sow the seed. All right, Misha, she jumped off, but hopefully I'll, I'll comment and let her know that I did pray for her to go back and listen to it because God may release another prophetic word. Um, but Father, I thank you for Misha Nichols right now. Bless her. Bless her socks off. Uh, bless her family. Bless her marriage. Oh, God, bless her businesses as well. Father, I thank you so much. And I see in the spirit right now that she's on her knees lifting her hands up to you. I think that this is the time and the, and the place where you're lifting her up as well. You're going to, hallelujah. God says as you enter into a time of prayer, into a time of, uh, of really reverencing him for what he has done and reverencing him for where he is going to take you and what he's going to do in your life, that there's going to come a time where the Lord is going to walk upon you and pull you up by your hands. He's going to strengthen your hands in your time of weakness. You're going into a new place. A new place in grace, a new space. There's going to be a workspace, a bigger workspace for you. There's going to be a shed for you. You've got more things coming to you. You've got more things that are being delivered uh, to your house. That's how I hear it. You got more things that are coming to you. You have not received all that is supposed to come into your hands as yet, Prophetess Misha. You you're going to receive all that God has for you. There's more <laughs> to come. There is more to come to you. Hallelujah. Woman of God, this is a personal question, but are you married? Misha, prophetess Misha, are you married right now? Because I'm hearing the Lord say, um, I'm hearing the Lord say, There needs to be more involvement. I don't know if you're mad right now or not, but I'm just speaking what I'm hearing. I'm hearing the Lord say there needs to be more involvement as far as your male companion. There needs to be more involvement in your business that you are doing, in the business that you are doing. There needs to be more involvement and that you need to be supported much, much more in what you're doing. I don't know. Yeah, let me leave that alone. But that's what I heard, that there needs to be more support coming from that side. So I don't know if you're married now or you will be. I'm not sure because I don't know you personally. But there needs to be more support. So support is coming in terms of that. Um, but get ready for the outpour. Get ready for the blessing. You have also not tapped into, you're about to tap into the generational blessing that rests on your father and your mother. And it's going to be amazing. It's going to blow your mind. All right, y'all. God bless. I'm out. I'm going to go take my daily walk for the day. And I'm going to restore myself with virtue that I poured out. Man, this was so awesome. Um, I love you so much.
Love you, Ty, Ty Yee. Love you, O'Shea. Love you, Misha Nichols. Love you, team. I love you, family. I love you, current vendors. I love you, vendors that will come alongside this movement. Y'all heard me rapping, right? The birth of an empire. Love, love, love. Love to you. High vibrations. Much healings. Majestic salutations. You are kings and queens and you're nothing else than that. You're more. You're kings and queens and more, but you ain't lower than that. Kings and queens. God blessings upon you. Let me release the police priestly blessing according to number six, verses 24 through 26. Yahuwah bless you and keep you. Yahuwah make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Yahuwah uh, lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you shalom.